Now, this is interesting. We've had more than 7,000 breakthrough cases in North Carolina since the start of the pandemic, and much of that is being blamed on the Delta variant. CBS 17 digital reporter Judith Fratana is joining us now live. And Judith, you've been tracking those numbers, those breakthroughs for us. A lot of people think you get vaccinated, you can't get the virus, but that's simply not the case. That's correct. And the purpose of the vaccines were never to keep you from getting an infection altogether. Their main purpose was to keep you out of the hospital and keep you from dying if you become infected. And data shows the vaccines are still doing this. State and federal health officials say 92% of COVID-19 cases are in unvaccinated people. We're still learning a lot about the pandemic, about the Delta variant, and about how the vaccines work. The CDC report 6,587 breakthrough cases resulted in hospitalizations or deaths so far. But the CDC isn't reporting the total number of breakthrough cases. It means we don't know what percent of fully vaccinated people may become infected. The, the problem is many of those breakthrough cases are either asymptomatic, which is means the vaccine is effective, it's working, um, or they're minimally symptomatic and they may not go get tested. Here in North Carolina, the data is more detailed. DHHS reports 7,297 breakthrough cases. Those resulted in 449 hospitalizations or deaths. The cases represent 0.1% of all fully vaccinated people. The vast majority of those cases, those patients are not sick enough to be hospitalized um, in this scenario. Finding the breakthroughs is a matching game. The state takes their COVID-19 positive patients and compares that list to their vaccine database. Data is continuing to come in and we're going to continue to ask questions about how, how do we improve what we're doing? How do we protect folks? And the most important thing to him right now? It's going to be getting as much of our population vaccinated as we can. Now, a study out of Israel found some breakthrough infection patients still felt symptoms six weeks after their infections. Most of those symptoms included headache, fatigue, muscle pain, things like that. Right now, the CDC has 20 groups of people they're studying across the country to get a better idea of how breakthrough cases manifest here in the United States. We're now live in Raleigh, Judith Ratana, CBS 17 News.